It's a five-year plan. Now time to go between the pipes and check in on one of their future stars. All right, you know the name. You know his dad. Heck, we all watched Shane Doan here in the Valley for 21 seasons. It was unbelievable. But now it's time for his son to carry on the family name. Exactly one month ago, Josh Doan decided to leave college at ASU and turn pro. Yeah, the former Sun Devil captain has been thrown into the fire down in Tucson with the Coyotes minor league team, the youngest guy on the roster, and he is the same line on the same line, I should say, with the 37 year old captain down with the Roadrunners. And in tonight's Sunday showcase, the Tucson Roadrunners are giving you an all access pass to go behind the scenes with young donor to see what life is like in the pros. Solid that I got a mic on instead of YouTube. Yeah. Keep it off of YouTube forever. That is a win. <laughs> Big day for ASU John Rom winning. Should we get some better looking guys in this corner? <laughs> and there's such a good culture here and, and a good group of guys that want to help and, and want to win and, and want to help you as a person and a player, which is which is super important to have around. And Let's get to work out with Dougie too. <laughs> Yeah, you picked the wrong guy to film. Why did you feel it was so important to make the move and go pro now? Yeah, I, obviously it was, it was something my family and I discussed for a while, and we didn't want to make the jump too early because it's a big decision to, to leave to leave school and to, and to join pro hockey. But with where the team was at and, and the people that are in charge here, it's, it's an organization that you can trust that they're going to do what's best for you. It was a decision that my family made that we felt ready that t this was the time to do it. And, and especially with an opportunity to play playoff games, adds, adds a whole lot of experience. You gotta show up daily, through good times, through hard times. You gotta be willing to fight hard for the guy next to you. And the goal is gonna be to come back to Tucson. It's something that you take for granted is, is playoff hockey. To step right into a, a do or die scenario is, is something super cool and, and makes the games more fun and entertaining. It's obviously something you can take with you forever. Well, he's obviously a, a real competitive person, actually. I, no, I think he's just one of those guys that loves being out on the ice. He loves being, uh, you know, part of the process. He, he enjoys it day to day. He's a hockey player. Oh, my goodness. What's just been the best moment could be on the ice, off the ice that you've had with Josh? Uh, I think scoring his first goal. Kicks it to Boko, a top left wing circle. He'll work it to Josh. Down and he scores! It's definitely a, a super special experience. I mean, it's something that down the road, you're, you're always going to remember that, and, and you're always going to know who passed you that puck and, and who was on the ice with you. So it was, it was a cool experience. That's always exciting and uh, to be part of that and on the ice with him, to see the excitement, uh, just huge. Boya China keeps it working. Josh Doan turns, fires. Oh, baby, what a goal by Josh and the Roadrunners get back within a pair. Have there been any, like, kind of, like, you know, rookie type traditions you've had, Josh, do you like you make him go on a coffee run for the guys, anything like that? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, we we had our uh, little rookie get together and they sang some songs, told a joke. Oh, it's a lot of fun, just laughs and just having a good time. There's, there's the little things that, that are pretty common everywhere and picking up pucks or, or cleaning up the bus. There, there hasn't been, been a coffee run yet. And maybe maybe come playoff time to run the road, there'll, there'll be one or something like that. But. Now you speak of it, I should go get a coffee and I'll make him get it. <laughs> I just make noises. <laughs> oh! There's no one out there who's even close to him yet, so <laughs> we're just trying to keep up with him. With the 37th overall selection in the 2021 NHL Draft, the Arizona Coyotes have selected Josh Doan. I'll, I'll enjoy adding some of my own pieces and hopefully bring bring something different to Arizona. Does everyone call him Donor? Yes. Yeah, it is. He, they do. And it's actually a little confusing when we're both in the same room. Usually he turns. I've been used to kind of just waiting. Hockey's pretty basic when it comes to nicknames. It's either a Y or an ER at the end of your name. And a save by Guylander. He cleans it up and scores. The first goal at Mullet Arena. Doan makes it one nothing. Personally, it's, it's something I take a lot of pride in, in, in being from Arizona and, and representing the state of Arizona hockey wise because th there's so many people here that have pushed so hard to, to help me grow and develop and and to get to this point and then now be in Tucson which is which is a place that I never played hockey in, until now so it's it's just another place in Arizona that, that you kind of check off the off the list with with that being playing in in Scottsdale and Tempe and Flagstaff a couple times and now in Tucson it's you almost hit every rink in, in Arizona and it's it's <laughs> something that you got to just keep moving on with Hopefully at the end of the day, it, it, it finishes with the Coyotes and, and comes full circle all the way around and will complete the, the checklist of all the teams in Arizona that you can play for.
Send me the address. No, you got to send it. I'll get lost. Still learning his way around. Still learning his way yeah. around. He's the new kid. You can watch the entire interview with Josh on 12news.com. Sports producer Jeff Vitton, the mastermind behind putting that together. He talks about his time as ASU at ASU and what it would mean to bring a Stanley Cup to the Valley in the Yotes. Yeah, I think it would mean a lot, yeah. right? Josh and the Roadrunners are in the playoffs this week. Game one against the Coachella Valley Firebirds is on Wednesday night. Real team, that Coachella too. Coachella Valley, baby. <laughs> All right.